Islands are curious places. Remote, disconnected and lapped up by waves on all sides, life here moves to its own rhythm. Species evolve in isolation, turning into endemic versions different from their cousins on the mainland. Simply put, oceanic islands host weird and wonderful creatures that are found nowhere else in the world. Great Nicobar is one such island. Situated on the southern tip of the Andaman and Nicobar archipelago, over 1800 kilometers from Kanyakumari, it is the farthest and one of the most diverse islands of the group. Its towering mountains host rainforests that are millions of years old and give birth to perennial rivers that meet the sea. A marine ecosystem teeming with life surrounds the 202 kilometer long coastline. Four out of the five sea turtles found along the Indian coastline nest on its serene beaches, including the world's largest, the leatherback. The coastal forests that line these beaches have many stories to tell. The most recent being the devastation that wrecked the island. The tsunami of 2004 on the Indian Ocean destroyed 70 square kilometers of this forest overnight. But the island has been resilient. Life here has regained strength slowly and steadily. The dense tropical rainforest nurtures several native species long-tailed macaques, megapods, tree shrews, which are found only in the Nicobar group of islands. But this isolation endangers it too. These unique yet fragile ecosystems are sensitive to the slightest external interference. In the recent past, new settlers have been turning parts of the rainforest into farmlands. With human intervention comes conflict, invasive plants and animals that put indigenous species at risk. The ocean currents bring in waste from various parts of the world. One of the remotest parts of India is slowly turning into a plastic dump. But life carries on against all odds. The Nicobar's corpse owl is larger than the Indian corpse owl found in different parts of the country. But this island cousin is found only in small numbers in the Great Nicobar Island. Their disappearance from Nicobar would mean their global extinction. Remote islands like Great Nicobar are ready-made laboratories for studying evolution. But while evolution takes millions of years, extinction happens much faster. In the past, human intervention on such islands has led to rapid habitat destruction and elimination of native species. We cannot let Great Nicobar biosphere meet the same fate.